Good day. In this video today, we'll be talking about the inverse element in binary operation. Now, the inverse element in binary operation. In my previous video, we've talked about the introduction to binary operations. Uh, we also talked about the identity element, and we're able to solve examples uh, that will aid the understanding in this particular topic, binary operation. But today, we're talking about the inverse element. Now, Previously, in an uh, identity element, I said when an element is being operated with an identity element, it gives you the same element as this. All right, but in the case of inverse, if A is operated on the inverse of A, because this is the symbol for inverse element, now this will give you identity element. Now, which means for you to get the inverse, you must first find the identity element. Yes, yes. For you to find the inverse of an element, you must first find the identity element. So this is the rule. Now, for the rule for identity element, this is the rule. And for the rule for inverse element, this is the rule. Now, let us get started with examples that will aid your understanding on these two rules now let us work out uh, this example which says find the inverse element in the binary operation on the set of real numbers defined by this i i believe uh, we've solved this in a previous video using the identity element yes 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 and the reason why i want to use this is to better understand uh, uh, to better your understanding because we've actually used this to solve the identity element previously. And I've said earlier that for us to get the inverse element, we must first find the identity element. And as such, let us first of all find the identity element. In this case, I believe in the previous video, we got one over three. Well, let us see. So here we have that X uh, operation, the identity element will not give us that three X which means wherever you see y replace it for your e so you have plus 3e minus 1 over uh, 3 and we said earlier that in previous video that x operation identity element will give you x by this rule that a operation e will give you a so as such here we now have that x i mean x rather sorry x gives you 3x plus 3e minus 1 over what? 3. And as such, now, so, so someone may ask how did I get this x? I got this x by the virtue of this rule that a operation e gives you a. So which means that x operation e will still give you x. So here, let us cross multiply. So here we cross multiply. Take note, this is over 1. So here we have that 3x uh, Equals, since this is 1, it multiplies through by this, which gives you the same thing, plus 3e, I mean 3e, minus 1. Alright, now let us call it like 10, which means this, transpose down here, we have our 3x minus 3x equals to 3e minus 1. This minus this will give us 0, equals to 3e minus 1. As such, this will give us minus 3e equals to minus 1. And as such, this zero, I mean, my minus cancel minus, we are left with 3e equals to 1. Then here we divide both sides by 3. So 3 cancel 3. Our e will now give us 1 over what? 3. Now take note that our identity element is 1 over 3. All right. So we. All right. So let us now find the inverse element. So in this case, we now say from here, we now replace our y here with the inverse element. Take note that if A operation A, which is the inverse element, gives you the identity element. Now that is the rule. Now remember that. So here we now have that X operation, the inverse of X. Now we now give you, now wherever we see Y, I mean, wherever we see Y here in this expression, replace it with this because we've replaced y with the inverse element of x 
So we should give us that 3x now plus 3. Now replacing our y here now with this, we have raised power minus 1, which is the inverse element, minus 1 all over what? 3. Now from this rule here, we know that a operation, the inverse of a will give you the identity element. And we know that uh, that our our e from the free calculation is 1 over what? 3. So here we know that e equals uh, 3x plus 3, the inverse of x minus 1 over 3. Now we know that our e here now is 1 over 3, replace it 1 over 3. Was on 3x plus 3 the inverse of x minus 1 over 3. Now let's cross multiply. So here we have 3 over 3 equals 3x. Uh, okay, by sorry, okay, this times this. We can just leave this here. So here we have plus 3x to the power minus 1 minus 1. So this we cancel this. We are left with 1 equals to 3x plus 3x to the power minus 1 minus 1. So as such now, sorry for that, I guess you're not seeing it from the screen over there. From here, let's come back here. So we, this cancel this gives us 1 equals 3x plus uh, 3 the inverse of x minus what? 1. As such, now let us collect like terms. As such, now this coming over to this place, this one give us plus this coming to this place also give us minus. So here you have 1 plus 1 minus 3x equals to 3x to the power minus 1. So here you have 2 minus 3x equals to 3x, uh, the inverse of x. So as such now, we can now make the inverse of x the subject of formula, which is the inverse element. So we can now say 3 here, 3 here. This cancel this. So the inverse element will now give us 2 minus 3x over 3. So this is our final answer. I believe you understand this. Okay, thank you.